Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look inside these heavily toured, customized Guar 4x12 cabinets. We've been running out of space at the pit for a long time now, so it's time to do some spring cleaning. These cabinets are actually going to be up for sale very soon on Guar.net, and before that happens, I'm going to put the original speakers back in there, make sure the wiring is all good. I figured I'd take this opportunity to take you guys along with me and see what's inside. Now these cabinets were custom made by Vader and they were received by the band I think around 2009, maybe 2010, but I'm pretty sure it was the Lust in Space tour because you can see it's got the Lust in Space logo right there on the side. These have been modified quite a few times over the years. They originally looked like this. Since then, they've had different baffles covering them. We've changed out different cloths to match the set. Most recently for the Scum Dogs Live Tour, I added this gold piping around the edge, painted this black, and we added these gold medallions that were custom made at the shop. None of these have Tolex. Each one is coated in pretty much what is a truck bed liner. And Guar has been CNC'd into the back and the sides here, which I think that's a pretty cool feature. So this is really unique. There's only four of these in existence. They've had their fair share of battle damage. There was originally a Vader faceplate right here, but I pried that off and we attached these medallions for the last couple of tours. Some have obviously fared better than others. Now the jack configuration on each one was wired a little bit different depending on how we would set up our stage. Typically, I would use the two mono cabs and Michael Dirks would use the two stereo cabs. So this one and this one were actually wired in stereo pairs. And these two bottom ones are just mono. Let's take the backs off and see what it looks like inside. Death pod comes from the sky. So each one of these cabinets has X-Pattern Vintage 30 and G12T75 Celestion speakers. These are all going to come out and the original speakers are going to go back in. I'll show you those in a second. We try to keep the blood out of the equipment, but you can see sometimes it just gets in everywhere. And some of this splatter over here, this is from the original paint job where it was green and red. You could see some splatter in there. Now these cabinets do not originally have any baffle support whatsoever. You'll see on some older cabinets there's sometimes a board between the front and the rear baffle. These dividers were actually added once we started using them in stereo because I was trying to make sure that they didn't influence each other while we were using them. I don't know if that really made a difference or not, but we were just trying something to see what worked. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and get the original speakers back in. Sorry, I don't have a light on the tag, but it says that they are Eminence V Legend Mod 12 speakers. There is there is a date code right here that's uh, that's 29th of September 2009. That likely confirms the band did receive them in 2009 for the Lust in Space tour. In order to wire these up, I'm going to use these twisted pairs of wire here. All I end up doing is I just take the two wire ends. Put them on the speakers like they're going to the jack. Make sure I got enough slack. Cut that. Repeat the process for the other side. And just put the ends in a drill and twist them up. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need about eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> These two top cabinets were the stereo pair. I am gonna to need to drill a hole in here to get the wire to go through. The type of wiring scheme we're gonna use here is called series parallel. These are four eight ohm speakers. We want the final output to be eight ohms. Next step is and cut the red wire here. And strip these two ends. So the red wire coming from the bottom speaker is going to go to the negative terminal. The top speaker. And the red wire that's going to go to the speaker jack will go to the positive terminal. Repeat that process for the other side. Again, and the way we do this is the wire coming from the positive terminal on the bottom speaker is going to go to the negative terminal on the top speaker. That is going to wire these two speakers in series and they will be paralleled at the jack to yield a total of eight ohms. <sighs> now we just repeat that process like 20 more times. There's two more things we need to do to check behind our work. One is we need to check the polarity. Let's just go ahead and plug in any speaker cable. Look at your jack, make sure nothing's touching that shouldn't touch. And just take like a nine volt battery, and it doesn't matter which direction they go in, as long as they all go in the same direction. It's so dark, it's hard to see. And it's a weak battery, so it's not moving very much. What you should see is if you touch the tip to the positive terminal on the battery, all the speakers should move outward. As long as they're all moving in the same direction, then all the speakers are in phase. Next, we wanna make sure that the impedance is correct. So we will take a multimeter here, set it to ohms. And that's what you should see. For an eight ohm cabinet, something around there is fine. So it's sitting around 6.3 ohms. That's right. For a 16 ohm cabinet, you'll see anywhere from 13 to 14 ohms. A lot of G12T75s, you'll see that cabinet reading 14.3 uh, ohms. This is going 6.2, about 6.3. For a 4 ohm cabinet, you'll want to see about at least something 3. So now that we know that this one's correct, we can put this together and move on to the next one. Now let's hear how they sound. Up on top, there's a 6505 Plus, mic'd with an SM57 at the bottom. This head was used on a few parts for the Blood of Gods record, and it might have been used for a couple things on Battle Maximus, but I can't remember. Most of that was a Marshall JCM800 and an Angle E530 preamp. Well, here we go. <laughs>
hope you enjoyed taking a look inside these things and seeing how they're put together. There's a lot of history with these in the band, but we really need to make some space. Stay tuned to Guar.net for more information about these cabs when they come up for sale. I've also got two 4x10 Vader base cabinets that are decked out the same way that'll also go up at the same time. So you got the chance to take one of these home. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.